Hey guys, how are you doing today? I hope that you are doing amazing and fantastic and wonderful. So today's video is all about a mini book haul that I've done. I don't know if you would call it mini. There are about nine books that I have hauled over the past month so far and it's only uh, October 17th, 16th? something like that 17th it's only october 17th so um i am super excited i will probably purchase more books in the next you know two three weeks i'm not even gonna try and fib about that i probably will but let's dive into what i have purchased so far i'll start with my ebooks and then i'll end with my physical books that i have got so the very first book that i have is Spellbreaker and Spellbreaker is I don't know it looks really really good it says the orphaned Elsie Camden learned as a girl that there were two kinds of wizards in the world those who pay for the power to cast spells and those like her were with the ability to break them but as an unlicensed magic user her gift is a crime um, commissioned by an underground group known as the Cowls, Elsie uses her spell breaking to push back against the aristocrats and help the common man. She always did love the tale of Robin Hood. Um, it looks really, really good. It's perfect for um, October, if you ask me. I actually was able to get this um, for free. Um, or actually, I pre-ordered it on October 3rd, and it's book one of the uh, series, and it's by Charlie in Holmberg. I I don't know. It just looked really, really interesting, and I had to I had to dive deeper into it. Um, I always get suckered into the Kindle uh, emails that I get for being a Kindle Unlimited member, and so again. I got suckered into this one as well. It is Perfectly Impossible, a novel by Elizabeth Topp. Um, the cover is just adorable. But it's a debut novel. Um, and it says, in this witty debut novel, Elizabeth Toff crafts a story that ventures behind the fanciful facade of Park Avenue and into the life of one lovable type A assistant. I am as type A as it gets, and I love this. I love the whole synopsis, and this job is simple. You know, she prevent the unexpected from happening and do everything better than perfectly. Um... An artist at heart, Anna works a day job as a private assistant for Bambi von Bismarck, that name though, a mega rich Upper East Side matriarch who's about to be honored at the illustrious Opera Ball. Um, caught between the staid world of great wealth and her unconventional life as an artist, Anna struggles with her true calling. If she's supposed to be a painter, why is she so much more successful as a personal assistant? When her boyfriend lands a fancy new job, it throws their future as a couple into doubt and intensifies Anna's identity crisis. All she has to do is to ensure everything runs smoothly and hold herself together until the ball is over. How hard could that be? It's sort of like a, a rom-com, um, very much a, I would say, contemporary kind of book which I know is a little bit different than what I normally read, but I read all different kinds of books, if you guys remember. I like diving in deeper to, to different things. I just prefer cozies, most of all. Um, another book that I recently bought, it was on sale for like $3.99 or $4.99 or something, but it is the first book of the Crescent City series by Sarah J. Mass. It's House of Earth and Blood. I really do love Sarah J. Mass, and um, I'm really, really excited to dive deeper into this. This looks very, very fall. Look at that cover, guys. Um, it says that uh, the brand new series begins with House of Earth and Blood, the story of half fae and half human Bryce Quinlan as she seeks revenge in a contemporary fantasy world of magic, danger, and searing romance. It just looks so good so good but i don't don't think that i have forgot some cozy mysteries because i haven't i did purchase um the red and gone this is book two in a haunted library mystery series because it is actually on sale right now for a dollar 99 on kindle i'll leave the link down below um and it's by allison brooke it looks perfect 
for either you could read it for um october or you can read it into the holiday season look at that tree it is a devoted dad is as precious as diamonds but carrie singleton wouldn't know since her dad jim's been on the lam most of her life in an unusual family reunion she finds jim breaking into her cottage in the middle of the night um, the fun really starts when he begs her to help him recover his half of a $20 million gem heist he pulled off with the, the local jeweler, Benton Parr. When she refuses, Jim takes off again. That just sounds awesome that her dad's on the lam. It really reminds me of Bones' dad, like, a lot. Um, the next book I bought was actually the Cozy Escape Book Club book of the month. Um, it's a study in murder. It's a Victorian book club mystery series by Callie Hutton. I purchased it not only in Kindle, but I purchased it also on audiobook. Just in case I'm not able to finish the Kindle, I can listen to it while I'm in the car driving. So I will finish that book no matter what. In my heart of hearts, I know I will finish it. So those are all of the... Um, Cleo's trying to jump on things. Those are all of the uh, ebooks that I got. Let's dive into the physical books. So I was sent Wild Sun by um, a publishing company. It looks amazing. This is book one in the Wild Sun series by Asan Ahmad and Shaquille Ahmad. It says, Our wor on a world enslaved, the last embers of hope are fading into an unrelenting darkness. Conquered and broken, the natives are forced to ravage their own lush planet of its natural resources, all for the glory of a mysterious empire they've never seen and barely comprehend. So, um, for those that don't know, I have a master's degree in Native American and Women's Studies, so I love um, Native American um, enriched uh storylines and i love that this sort of also seems fantasy um mixed in which really goes well with native american lore um so i'm really 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 stoked to to read this i'm sort of in the mood for a lot of like um sort of like sci-fi fantasy kind of books sometimes i just get that way in the middle of october but i also got sent to me murder goes to market by daisy bateman guys look at that that's so freaking cute it says um claudia Simo simco i think that's how you say it has left the tech world of san francisco to start a new quiet life in peaceful coastal town of san elmo bay now she owns a market specializing in artisanal local made goods um, but then Lori Roth, one of her market's vendors, is strangled to death by a wire. All of a sudden, San Elmo stops seeming so peaceful, especially when the suspicion for the murder falls upon Claudia. Things don't get any simpler when there is a second murder. Uh, the body count is rising. Police Chief Lennox thinks Claudia is the killer. There's friction between her and her weirdo neighbor. Uh, Lori's past yields some worrisome questions. A massive pickle jar seems to have played a role in the murder. And as if things weren't complicated enough, uh, Officer Derek Chambers, Chief Lennox's new hire, is pretty cute. So there is that cozy right here. That looks pretty adorable here. And then, of course, I got my Book of the Month Club picks. So excited for these. So last month, I got Anxious People. I'll talk more in detail with a bit about Anxious People in my monthly wrap-up. But it was freaking amazing, guys. I loved that. I uh, buddy read it with my friend Catherine. And we both were just, like, shook from that book. So what's funny is we both uh have book of the month club and so she she came over and she goes uh i go so what did you get for this month's book of the month and she goes actually i couldn't pick so i bought two and i was like so did i what two did you get she and i got the exact same books we didn't talk guys we didn't say a word to each other about what we were purchasing so of course, of course, I had to get Alice Hoffman's Magic Lessons, the prequel to Practical Magic. I Practical Magic is one of my absolute favorite movies of all time ever. And I've read the book, the original book, Practical Magic, like 10 years ago. I need to read it again. And so this is, the, it goes uh, Magic Lessons, then it goes um, the book about the sisters, the uh, aunts. And then it goes practical magic but i just need to read all of these all in order and just oh so excited 
And then we both got The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab, V.E. Schwab's newest book. God, that cover is just so cool. Um, I love the way it looks with the stars, the constellations on there. I'm all about constellations. Um, so yeah, I am super excited about all of the books that I hauled so far in the month of October. What books have you purchased this month? Let me know so I can add to my ever-growing TBR you know um that's the end of this chapter of Cortagonist. please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and until next time guys happy reading bye